Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of VR for Work. I'm Rick and I'm your host today. We're going to start a new series within VR for Work, um, especially dedicated to just quick tips for some of our favorite applications. And so today, we're going to bring you a quick tip related to virtual desktop. Now, many of you may be familiar with virtual desktop. It's been around in the VR market for a number of years um, and recently uh, climbed to, I would say, infamy um, in the Oculus Quest community by also now becoming a bridge between the Oculus Quest and desktop VR. I use virtual desktop uh, on a very regular basis to access resources on my PC, play games from the Oculus Rift store on my Oculus Quest, and also run uh, other programs and applications uh, on my laptop into my Quest. Quest had originally been released and designed as a mobile VR solution, but the use of virtual desktop has really opened up the uh, capability and the possibilities to use the Quest for so much more. And so uh, I've had virtual desktop for almost a year um, and never really gave it much consideration as a productivity app. Um, it was kind of that jumping off point for getting to uh, gaming. Um, but today we want to talk a little bit about a, a single feature that I found within virtual desktop that um, I'm hoping makes its way into other applications. But because it's there in virtual desktop today, you can make the most of it uh, from a productivity standpoint. And so with that, let's turn to our PC here. And I'll lean in and we'll take a quick look. So we're talking about virtual desktop. And uh, again, this is designed as a real quick tip. So we're not going to go into much depth. Um, admittedly, right on its own website, uh, virtual desktop advertises itself as a way to watch movies, browse the web, or play games on a giant virtual screen. No mention of productivity here. It's basically a desktop screen emulator. You install it on your desktop, you install a agent um, on, in your quest, and you make a connection, and virtual desktop uh, feeds that content up to you. Um, however, it, its uh, developer has uh, enabled and created certain functions within virtual desktop that allow it to act as a bridge for content for mobile platforms, such as the Go, the Quest, previously the Gear, so that you can emulate uh, other headsets and actually pay, play games on Steam and in the Oculus Store. And that's, uh, that's how I best know it. But it was, uh, uh, while I was in there, one day, I just happened to notice a certain feature that I wanted to talk about. And so, why are we talking about virtual desktop here on VR for work? Well, let me show you. So let's go jump into our demonstration. And so, uh, you know, everybody's familiar now in, in my Oculus Quest um, interface. I'm selecting virtual desktop. I'm using the, uh, a particular theme. Virtual desktop gives you many themes to pick from. I think this is the home movie viewing screen. Um, and so what I'm doing is I've opened my web browser on my laptop and I'm in uh, Microsoft 365. I'm opening a Word document now. Here is the secret sauce. Here's the magic, right? Um, down on the virtual desktop, keyboard, which is a very full function keyboard right down here in the lower right hand corner, right uh, where I'm circling, right underneath the shift key is a little button that has a microphone on it. And if you click that little button up on your Windows screen or on your big screen with the virtual uh, desktop display, it, you will launch the uh, Microsoft Windows dictation feature. And so I was playing around and I was like, well, what is this microphone? And I clicked it and I, at first I didn't quite realize what was happening. And then I started to notice that on my screen, the dictation bar would pop up. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. 
And then, you know, as I've been uh, now in, uh, in doing uh, VR for work for a little while and starting to experiment with so many platforms and applications and realizing the limitation of the text input and keyboarding um, if you are not, you know, a touch typist uh, like myself, that, that that's a real limitation. And so when I kind of had a light bulb moment one day, I felt like I wanted to try this. So here I am and I'm launching um, Word and Office 365. I've clicked the microphone button in virtual desktop. I've got the Windows dictation feature running. Now, another piece of this, uh, of the recipe for the secret sauce here in virtual desktop is it has um, a great pass through microphone um, and sound option in its settings menu. So you can have that toggled on or toggled off. If it's toggled on, it does a great job at passing your mic through to the PC. And so I'm just starting to speak. You can't hear me in the video, um, but you'll see the type going across the screen. And um, this is just a, a real short uh, uh, experiment that I was doing that I wanted to capture on video to kind of uh, explain and explore the possibilities here. But to me, this was very, very powerful. I'm suddenly not having to rely on um, the limitation of, of a physical keyboard in a virtual space. I can now use my voice. Now, admittedly, um, it, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to, you know, if you've been typing, as I have for decades, you know, and getting your thoughts out in that manner. Actually speaking them is a little bit different. You know, I work in healthcare and uh, doctors usually have to train for quite some time on voice recognition platforms, but after they get it, they're very, very efficient and productive. And so this has really made me look at virtual desktop differently. Um, maybe it will make you look at virtual desktop differently and um, see it as a option uh, when you have to kind of get in there and knock out some actual text entry with email or a document, this may actually be a, uh, an option for you. All right, I'm gonna jump to the end of this because it's really just me kind of continuing to dictate and we'll stop the video there. And that's the end of our quick tip today. So I really thank you for joining me. I hope you found this useful and go in there and start dictating. Bye now, thanks very much.